Hey guys! It's another beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Today's video is all about the update of our rabbit tree and we are going to visit two individuals who had been very successful in this rabbit farming. And you will note that these two individuals have opposite, very opposite method in raising rabbits because Ferdy, my friend, raised his rabbits on the ground while Maurice raised his rabbits on an elevated cages. Come on, let's go and we will learn the techniques and methods how they became so successful and we will learn from it. You know, Ferdy has unique ways on how to raise these rabbits. And in fact, as you can see, these rabbits were just allowed to stay on the ground and they were allowed to deliver babies on the ground. He is raising this rabbit for quite some time now. It's been mga pila na ba? Mga lima? So more than five years. Ito pala si ano, Ferdinand Gorilla. Umpisa lang kami nito sa ano, isang pair lang ng rabbit. Alaga-alaga lang ba? Umpisa nung nanganak sila, kapitbahay namin, nainganyo mo sila bumili. Kaya ngayon, ginawa namin, pinapadami namin. Pag nanganak yung rabbit, iniwa namin yung mga babae, yung lalaki lang yung binibinta namin. Kung sa dumami ng dumami, kung sa dumating yung time na dumami sila tapos mayroong kami dinilibiran dati na ano, ibang pet shop. Tumatanggi na sila kaya sobrang dami na. Tapos pinipili na nila yung rabbit. Ngayon, parang nang hinayang kami, parang na hinahan kami ng loob sa rabbit. Yung nakilala namin si Sir Dexter, yun, parang na, 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 buhayan kami. Ngayon, hanggang ngayon, parang umano na kami. Kinanaan na yung magkaroon ng rabbit kasi binibili niya lahat. Tapos inyengkan nyo din kami kung mag-alaga ng marami. Kailangan damihan talaga kasi gusto ni Sir Dexter, marami yung i-deliver sa kanya. Masaya na magalaga ng rabbit, kakatuwa. Pag uwi mo ng trabaho, tingnan mo lang sila, tanggal sa stress. Income din kami minsan, mag isang buwan, abot ng ano, 10,000. Kasi marami naman, nakadeliver na kami ng 50, 50 piraso. Mahigit pa. Ngayon, kailangan namin magkatarget ng 100 piraso para kay Sir Dexter. Kulang pa na yun. <laughs> This is a black and white rabbits and this is just uh, two days old. They have actually 10 siblings and they were delivered just yesterday. What is good about this is we can just touch anytime their babies. And Ferdinand is assuring us that no harm will happen if we're gonna touch the babies because they are already used to human smell. And we will put this back and you will see now that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of them. And imagine, almost all of the cages are filled with babies. So guys, finally we have harvested 21 kits. They have different sizes because they don't have the same age. You will see that all these are very healthy and his peculiar way of raising these rabbits is really giving us the information, good information, and that's a first-hand information that's reliable if you are going to 
do also some rabbitry projects. So we're gonna pay this one, of course, and we will bring this to the pet store. Of course, we cannot put them all in the pet store because it's very warm inside. So we will bring this to our farm. And before going to the farm, we will again visit another person, very important person to me also. So we are in the place of my friend. It's another friend of mine that is really also engaged in rabbitry and we're gonna examine his method because what I understand is that his method is really different from the method of Ferdy. So he is raising rabbits on elevated cages and come on, let's compare which of these methods, two methods are best for our rabbitry. So guys, we are now here at the place of Morris. This friend of mine is also very successful in rabbit racing. But as you will note, he has different method of racing rabbits because all the rabbits are now placed in elevated cages. So this is completely opposite to the method adopted by Ferdy. And if you will also look at the cages, there are plenty of babies. You will see this one and he raised a different kind of breed how many one one two three four five six seven eight kits for one liter only and uh, this is a significant success for him also because he has produced also very massively of this kind of rabbits Wow, plenty. See this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight kits that are here. These two partners of mine, we are aiming to introduce rabbit meat in the market. And I encourage them to massively produce these animals because this would be a great source of income if our people here in, in the community would learn to eat rabbit meat as an alternative for chicken and beef. This couple is also raising superworms. And in fact, as you can see over here, uh, hello mom, the wife of Maurice. <laughs> she is counting now thousands of this worm, this mealworm to be displayed at the pet store. Well, as you know, we already have been permitted to operate our business. And just yesterday, we were able to open for the longest period of time since we were locked down. We were able to open and I'm so glad that we can continue on with our business as usual. And that's why I am roaming around just to get some stocks. And of course, we need also this kind of worm for our customers. Well, these worms can be fed to the lizards, can be fed to the turtles, the fish, the predator fish, and even the birds. So this is really also very important. When you look at this 
this have grown very big now <laughs> because of the lockdown. How many are there? Three thousand two. So these are now, guys, the kits of one dough only. It reached around eight. So this is the average uh, number of babies that this bunnies can produce. You will see the difference of the method adopted by Morris and by Ferdy. Ferdy is raising these kits on the ground. He doesn't need this uh, box anymore, but Morris needs this box because he is racing on an elevated cage but it doesn't have any problem at all he's also very successful that is why i said we can adapt our own ways our own method that would suit to the place or the environment that we are in Guys, I would like to meet you again, my friend Boris. Actually, this is not the first time that he appeared in our video because we already have so many videos about him, about this uh, culture of the superworm and this rabbitry. But uh, once again, I would like to introduce my friend to you and of course, successful guy ka bai. Congratulations sa imuha. Salamat kayo. Imuha. Dili agi sa imuha, dili kayo. <laughs> Actually, he is set to make another cage for these rabbits. Magbuhat na po kang cage, di ba? So, makita na ito nga na na po kayo ipanday dito nga nga cage o kinibaga pasabot nga okay kayo ng breeding sa rabbit? Okay kayo ng breeding sa rabbit. Tapos, ang ang gitudlo na yung mga mga pamaagi na 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 He really doesn't forget about the encouragement I gave him when he first started this uh this uh, farming, this is uh, rabbit farming. I gave him some tips, and actually, he has developed and even improved the basic tips that I have told him. So, we will see that he is now making another cage for the rabbits. And I think this is made of what? A coco lumber. Coco lumber. Uh, we will see here. Ini adalah ideal untuk para ketung anak-anak. Di parit lang ni dia, kalau magpadaku na ni mo, antod nga pwede na siya i-breed. Diri lang siya. So, kung ano siya, ini patining cage lang. Patining lang. For patining purposes. So, this is quite big and it will now have eight divisions. Of course, after weaning the rabbits from their parents, the mother, of course, we will immediately separate that in preparation for another breeding or another batch of babies that this doe can produce because they are really very prolific after they will win their kids they are again capable of producing another batch of babies that is why rabbitry is one of the most lucrative business that a person or an individual can engage So guys, we will now load this 46 pieces of rabbits in our rabbit hatch and some of them are going to be chosen to compose of our breeders. So come on, let's go and we will also make an update about our old stacks of rabbits right there. Come on. We have here 60 rabbits. Plus this uh, 40 plus, so more or less we can we can gather 100 breeders for this farm. Oops. Okay, you will stay 
a year. So we actually have here 102 rabbits and we will select some good breeders. We cannot make them all breeders because there are, they are too plenty to be accommodated in this hatch. More or less I'm envisioning about 80 to 90 breeders that will compose this farm. And if we will be able to produce massively then that's gonna be the time that we are going to extend our hatch over there. I hope we will be able to produce rabbit meats and and roasted rabbits in the market. So that's my dream and that's a very ambitious dream but if you will keep on dreaming and try to realize it, it will really come to happen. It will come to pass. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you will continue to like and share our videos. If you are new to this channel, please don't hesitate to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified of our future uploads only here at Dexter's World!